the source material for the play um, is American, in that it's probably based on uh, the case of um, two young students called Leopold and Loeb, who committed a very similar motiveless murder and were similarly inspired by uh, Nietzsche. This is the case of two college students who, in 1924 in Chicago, um, hatched a plan to kill a young boy, age 14, who was well known to one of the two, Leopold. He was killed by a chisel, and then they, the two boys tried to um, disguise the body. I think they took the victim's clothes off, they poured acid over the body and, and wrapped it up. And it was the following day, I think they phoned the mother of the victim to um, ask, to, to let her know that her son was okay and um, that, that they needed, she needed to pay a ransom if she wanted his safe return. There were undertones of a sexual relationship between the two of them and one of them was probably much more dominant, Loeb. Um, and he sounds like he may have come up with this plan they were foiled because one of the two had dropped a pair of glasses on the victim and this was found and I think it was identified as uh, there were only three glasses of the kind and it was traced back to him. So they were discovered and they um, were arrested and they ended up, both of them confessed to the actual killing, uh, but they blamed each other for the killing. Uh, and they, were, they were defended by a famous um, defence lawyer, Clarence Darrow, who miraculously managed to get them acquitted of um, the death penalty and they both served terms of imprisonment. One of the boys was then killed in prison, Loeb I think was killed in prison and Leopold uh, went on to do very well actually in prison. He became a teacher, he learnt 27 languages and he was actually released in the 50s. I mean most of this murder is very very rare Technically, I mean, very rare. In fact, neither the, the, the crime in the play or, or Leopold and Loeb were motiveless in the sense that the, the, the perpetrators of the crime were doing so, uh, were, were carrying out the crime to carry out a sort of philosophical experiment to find out whether by inflicting uh, cruelty and um, control, and ultimate control over another human being, they could prove to themselves that they were of a, they were an ubermensch, correct, to correct the Nietzschean term, that they were a sort of superman. Such ideas are touched upon in um, Thus spoke Zarathustra and um, other bits of Nietzsche, where he talks about how man should be cruel, how man is born uh, in a kind of Darwinian way to exercise um, cruelty and to enjoy the infliction of cruelty upon others. This case is quite interesting because it doesn't have the obvious risk factors of uh, someone who go, will go out and commit such a violent, horrendous crime. Uh, neither of them appear to be low functioning, uh, low intellect from, high, from dysfunctional backgrounds. So what makes it interesting is, is that these are two, what would appear to be highly functioning, intelligent young people who then come together and commit this horrendous offence. It does sound like one of them was probably a lot more dominant than the other one, Loeb. Um, he sounds uh, like he had a very narcissistic, dominant personality, who, who, and he liked to manipulate other people. He liked to see how much he could get away with, play games. Uh, he was quite conning, possibly quite deceitful, which are characteristics of uh, what you would uh, term a psychopath. Possibly Leopold was infatuated with Loeb and wanted to impress him. He was under his spell, so it sounds like he was somewhat manipulated by Loeb, this very charismatic, um, engaging, endearing person.